Waste Into The Tank is a company that encourages kids to play with their food. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sharks, my name is Tomo. I'm a stay-at-home dad to two very, very picky eaters, and I cannot tell you the number of times I've heard the word no. It's the one superpower that kiddos can wield over their parents from a really young age, and the place they use it most is the dinner table. They'll push it, pull it, slide it, hide it. Kids will do anything to avoid eating the food on the plate in front of them. So, Sharks, let's turn those no's into yeses with Noshi edible organic food paint and condiments that kids can use to turn any mealtime into an art class. Write your name on your breakfast, a smiley face on a cheeseburger, or just go wild and spray abstract art over whatever's in front of you. The options are limitless, just like a child's imagination. Use flavors like strawberry, peach, or mango for fruity fun, or our kid-approved condiments like SketchUp, Crayonnaise, mustards and more. <laughs> Noshi contains no preservatives, no artificial colours, no artificial flavours, just good, clean, organic fun. Sharks, get imaginative with me here for a second. I'm asking <laughs> for 250,000 of these in exchange for 17% of Noshi. Sharks, I'm working at a distinct disadvantage here because none of you is six years old. If you were, I'd already have a deal. That's how much kids <laughs> love this stuff. But for now, I'm asking you all to get in touch with your inner child and play with Noshi. And after that, let's play with some numbers. Please, okay. play with your food. Very well. <laughs> Why not? So you've got a box of SketchUp, a box of Peppa Pig food paint, and a box of Crayola food paint. This is branded Cute. Crayola. Yeah. So you must have a deal with it. Yeah, we've got license deals with Peppa Pig, Crayola, Very Hungry Caterpillar, and Daniel Tiger. The part I like about that is you like royalty deals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not averse to them, that's for sure. It seems like not a lot of ketchup for a kid. I, I think it's about right. The box has three tubes in it, and I think you, know, you use a tube per mealtime. And even with two kids, you could probably you know, split a tube between two kids. And what does the container sell for? Uh, it sells for 546. 546, okay. And what are you making it for? Um, at the moment, it's about 272. But with the money from here, if I got it, we would buy two pieces of machinery, which takes 60 cents off each And what each do you unit. sell the box of three for? Uh, wholesale. Wholesale. 370. Okay, so your margins are awful. Okay, you must have sales. Last year, it was $117,000. What do you think this year will be? This year, so far, we've sold just under 80,000. I think it's probably going to end up being 200,000 by the end of the year. Why, Especially... so, why so small? How, how many stores do you have? We're in 370 Walmart stores. How much are you selling online? We haven't sold any online this year because I've got a situation at home. My wife has got long COVID, and she's been in bed for three years. Oh, oh. Three oh years. no. Yeah. Oh so since then, I've been bringing up my two children almost as a single parent and looking so after she's her. she's a long hauler in COVID? Yeah. I mean, she had a really successful career and I don't think she's ever going to work again. So oh my God. that makes it incumbent on me to make this a success. Where are you so, based? In New York. At the end of last year, my wife and I sat down and for the first time we discussed the fact that she probably wouldn't ever work again. So we agreed that she would move back to England and be cared for by her parents, which is where she's been for the last nine months. Oh, wow. wow. That must be horrible. Terrible. I mean, yeah. it's the, the kids especially, you know, I mean, my priority as a human being, as a parent, is to keep them as happy and healthy as possible. What were you doing before this happened? I grew up in the English countryside, and when I was 13, I started reading my mum's Vogue magazine, and I thought, I want to work there. So I left home when I was 16, and three years later, I was working at Vogue magazine. Wow. So you know, I was a producer, I was a product photographer working for Tom Ford, Donna Karen. But then when our son was born in 2010, I thought I'm really, I'm starting to grow out of this industry. My wife at the time was the CEO of a marketing company in New York and was making really good money. So we decided that I would become the stay at home parent. Mm -hmm. At which point I discovered that both of my kids were extremely picky eaters. It took me a year to find a formulator. It took him another 18 months to get the formulas to a point where we were happy with them and we launched in 2017. We went straight into about 80 Albertsons, 110 Safeways, and every branch of Jewel Osco. And I think we probably sold about $20,000 worth that year. Because Out of all those stores? It. Yeah, it's because... People don't know what it is. Because it's a unique product, people didn't know what it was. I had designed the packaging, 
thinking I was a okay, creative genius. Can we go to 2018? I just want to see the trajectory. 2018, 2019, 2020, they were all the same because the packaging was wrong. Did you stay in that re in those retailers? No, we came out of those Safeway and Albertson stores in 2018. Got in it. early 2019, I was at Expo West, and on the last day of the show, this young guy came out of the crowd, and he handed me a business card, and I turned it around, and it said Walmart on it. It was that easy. I've got these four amazing license deals. We're in Walmart. Walmart has stuck with us for three years. How does Walmart feel about how you're selling? We heard last week that Walmart are going to put SketchUp into 1,500 stores next year. In but are they selling through currently? Yeah, we sell, you know, every, the last three production runs are the first three ever that we've sold through, and we've sold through all That's three good. in a row. That's a good sign. I'm listening to the story, and, and, you know, I would say you're a remarkable man given what you've been through. What's bothering me is a lack of sales. Since 2017, it's been relatively flat. Then I have to consider that you're a one-man show on this thing. I, I'm having well, that's a hard... why I want you guys. No, I get it, I, but I don't need a job. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm an investor. You may find that one of these other sharks wants to take this journey with you, but it's not me. I'm out. Okay, I'm sad to hear that, but thank you, Kevin. I'm feeling that this doesn't belong in a food aisle. I think it needs to be a gift item. I don't see it as a competitive food item and appearing next to the ketchup in a food aisle because I don't have confidence in the product, where it's positioned and how you sell it, I'm out. Okay, that's a shame. Tama, I think it's a clever idea. There's a lot of things you did right, but there's not enough here for me today to give you an offer. Okay. And so I wish you good luck. Thank you, that's a shame, but thank you very much. I think that at $6, I think this is a great novelty one time, and then a parent says, it's almost six dollars every every meal. I think that's where you may be having a little bit of resistance on the sales and I wish you luck and I really respect who you are, but I'm out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mark. It, it's a tough Nothing call. Nothing I can do to convince you. Yeah, the the hard part is I think is shelf presence. Right? You've got to know what you're looking for or you've got to get attention very quickly. Yeah. This says nothing. This is pretty damn cool. Thank yeah. you. I think Crayola will get a lot more attention. I agree. I mean, the reality is what you do online is going to be far more important. Yeah. yeah. That's how you're going to make all your money. Yeah. So what are you going to do to get online? Well, the problem is, of course, is that I'm going to need funds to produce the product to sell online. Yeah. yeah I mean... Um... Help me out, Mark. Come on. We've got Walmart expansion. Is there any way you consider doing these as one-offs so that people can see them and try them? To, to Damon's point, right, it's hard to make an investment of the $6 or whatever it is you, they sell for yeah. at retail. If you have a little basket just full of different flavors and each of these are $1.99, Parents are going to pick them up. Yeah, I'm open to doing anything. Absolutely. You know. From day one, I knew that this was a really good idea. And whenever you show this stuff to a child, you're reassured of that. All right, um, I'll offer you the 250K. I don't believe it. For 25%. Right. Okay, done. <laughs> good job, Tomo. <laughs> can I hug you? Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Nice to meet you all. Thank you so much. This is a journey that I always knew was worth taking, and I can see the end game, and we can get there. Phew. <laughs> so much was riding on this. You know, my situation at home is such that I had to get a deal. I had to do something to provide for my family for the future. And Mark's just helped me do that. <laughs>